for this review, we're going to be looking at one of the cutest little graphic novels I've ever read called Pilu of the Woods by Mai K. Nguyen and published by Oni Press. But while we talk about that, let's get started on the sketch. <laughs> While perusing through Amazon, I always find myself sucked into the black hole that is graphic novels. I then proceed to add a ton of books to my wish list in hopes that one day I will own all the graphic novels known to man. <laughs> Pilu of the Woods was definitely one of those books. I mean, at the time it was a pre-order, but a ton of books on my wish list are... I mean, I don't want to discriminate, I'll add any old book. Books are books, and I don't have enough shelf space to love them all, but a girl can dream. <laughs> but what really ends up happening is every once in a while, I visit my local Barnes & Noble and end up buying a book or two. Let me just pause this real quick by saying I am mad jealous of all the kids that are growing up in this generation when it comes to comics, but holy cow! I tend to find way more books I want to buy in the kids section of graphic novels than I do when I'm trying to find books that are for my own age group. Kids these days don't realize how good they got it with the technologies and the wee fees and the woo tubies. You got enough great books to last you a lifetime. I would know because I'm reading them all, gosh dang it. Anyway. I picked up Pilo of the Woods recently, and although I have a stack of graphic novels that I should be going through, the adorable art on the cover just sucked me in and I absolutely loved it. Pilo of the Woods is about a girl named Willow who is going through a tough time due to a recent loss in her family. Nothing is the same and it's been really hard for her to keep her emotions in check. After an argument with her sister, Willow runs off into the woods to attempt to quiet her emotions where she runs into a tree spirit named Pilu. Having learned that Pilu ran away from her home, a magnolia grove where Willow used to go with her mom, Willow encourages her to go home and make amends. And she'll even lead the way. A trip through the woods should be nice and quiet, right? Well... I'll get into that a little bit more in the spoiler section of this video. From the beginning of this video, you already know that the artwork alone sucked me into this wonderful book, and for good reason. It's bright, beautiful, colorful, the characters are all consistent, and everything is so well thought out. You can really feel how much love the artist put into these pages. I'm a sucker for mystical, magical, and whimsical things, so Pilu was a huge part of my love in this book, but I'll give an honorable mention for Willow's sister because she is super, super cute. I don't know, I just really, really liked her design. Also, did I mention that there's an adorable dog named Chicory? You know my love for doggos, I mean, you can tell by my drawing. I had to include the dog because, hello dogs, am I right? <laughs> I think one of my favorite things about the art in this book is how simple everything is, but also how insanely detailed too. All the little lines and ticks and the foliage, the little bits or scratches and dirt the characters get as they trudge through the woods, all the little swirls and dots and specks, together they give the story just this beautiful charm that I absolutely loved. Oh, you know what time it is. It's spoiler time. If you don't want to be spoiled by what happens in this book, make sure that you mute the video and meet back with us at this time. So, I actually don't want to spoil anything in this book because I would honestly really recommend you check out this book yourself. It truly is a wonderful read, but it is difficult to discuss certain things without giving away specific plot elements, so that's kind of why in each of these I have a spoiler section anyway, or if there's parts that I just really want to gush about, so that way if someone else has read the book and also wants to talk about it, then we can have a conversation in the comments. But Because the biggest thing for, I guess, spoiling in this would be that the loss that Willow has in her family is her mother. 
From the get-go in this book, you can really see Willow struggling to hold in anger and sadness and as she says, she she's trying to be good. Uh, but her emotions are represented by these little monsters that she keeps bottling up inside her because if she lets them out, bad things happen. When Willow meets Pilu in the woods, she finds out that Pilu ran away from home after yelling at her mom. Willow, having just lost hers, encourages Pilu to make up with her, having wished that she could make up with her own mother when she got into an argument with her before she passed. These feelings are difficult for Willow to deal with, and she continues to keep them bottled up, which results in her little monsters growing larger and angrier until Willow has no choice but to confront them at the end. I'll leave the rest of that there so that you can check it out for yourself to see how the book ends. Pilu of the Woods is a wonderful book with beautiful art and takes a lighthearted approach at discussing death and tackling your negative emotions. For a book made for kids, I think that this was a wonderful way to handle the topic of death without frightening smaller readers. The characters each work out their issues and communicate with the people that they're struggling to get along with. This part was a breath of fresh air for me. So often I see stories, whether it's in movies or, or cartoons or sometimes TV shows or whatever, um, characters that avoid conversations and try to deal with the hard things in life on their own or keep it all bottled in, which was a really cute representation in this book. Um, but in Peel of the Woods, you get to see these characters face their difficulties and continue healthy relationships with family through communication and love. And that's what I felt the most in this book was love. Whether it was from the tree spirit Pilu and her mother, or with Willow and her sister, each character is able to share their feelings and communicate with love and kindness. I would have loved this book as a kid, and having dealt with loss as an adult, I felt like I needed it now as well. I would highly recommend this book for kids that are like ages 7 and up, and also for art-loving adults that want a light-hearted, good short read. So in today's illustration that we worked on this week, I drew our three forest adventurers, Pilu, Willow, and Willow's cute pupper chicory. I really wanted Pilu to be a large part of the image, and since I loved her hair, I decided to draw it kind of exaggerated, spilling out over the whole page while Willow and Chicory fall behind her. I also drew the cute little four spirits as the border surrounding the characters. It was an absolute joy to work on this piece, and I loved adding all the little details to match my style. I will of course leave links to where you can buy the book, as well as links to the artist's website in the description if you are interested in seeing her work or checking out her book. As a newer comic artist to the publishing scene, I really expect wonderful things from her. If this is her start, I know she has a couple smaller things published, but if this is her start as far as like um, company publishing, she's going to do just awesome, awesome things, I can tell. So I'm super excited to see more from her. But that is it for me this week, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw this illustration and learning a little bit more about this awesome book. If you would like to see me review more graphic novels, I will leave an I card to my last review up top, but I do have a playlist on my channel of the books I've reviewed in the past, so if there's a book that you would like to see me review or draw some fan art for, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for stopping by, and I hope that we can draw together again soon. Bye guys.